Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Brave New World, Final Frontier. This is uh, effectively the second video entry into the series. However, it's the first one with the times three uh, multiplier, that being double speed enemies and then slow down players by one third, effectively making times three speed. I figured this was a good way to um, incentivize or to create more challenge within the mod. Final Frontier is supposed to be harder overall than Brave New World, but I figured having times three would be nice. That way I can finally get the times three run done so that certain people don't um, beg me to finish it or tell me to finish it rather, excuse me. And um, the only thing that's really missing is the post Figaro Magitek fight and the South Figaro cave as well as I went ahead and got Butterfly, and I realized there was no Stout Spear. Damn it. And now we healed up, and we, we're just going to go to South uh, Figaro. So I noticed right off the bat, relics have been changed. I guess this is to make the remedy spell um, more useful. It's actually why I changed my mind about recording. I didn't originally wasn't going to, but there's things I want to talk about. Uh, mostly, I want to marvel at the design choices and speculate on why they might be. That might be my guess as to why there's no goggles or blonde or um, bracelet is because. you have the Remedy spell, and it makes the Remedy spell more useful. So, I'm going to go ahead and actually stack two Dragoon Seals. I've never done that before. Doably, you'd think it'd be pretty redundant, but look at that Evade. 56 Evade for Edgar. That's pretty awesome. And we'll have a Knight's Cape for Locke, Knight's Cape for Terra. I'm probably going to, to double stack Knight's Cape on them, so I'm going to go ahead and get two more. Let's see what weapons look like here. Okay, um, less weapons off the bat. I like that. Um, 
I understand why there's so many options in the original base uh, mod because the it's the design philosophy of you're not supposed to buy everything. I like to buy everything. I like to make sure I have what I need. And I like to get everything just in case. But then that usually results in me having to grind. Fortunately, I don't have to do that here. Um... See, what do I want? I think for Terra, we're gonna get uh, we're going to upgrade her sword, and we're gonna stick her in front row. And for Locke, we have Butterfly, and I think I'm also gonna give him a sword and keep him in front row. Edgar. Normally I back row him, but uh, with those counters, I think I'm actually going to keep him in the front row. So we'll get a Mithril Bolo for them. Mithril, hmm. 75 and Invade plus 10. We'll lose attack power, but we'll gain Evade. I'm actually going to and then I can't jump. I might... Nah, we're gonna leave it as is. Can't do it. Hello, check. Boomerang, normally I get those, but um, I'm... Not really going to use them right now. Boomerang is nice. Gives you options to attack in the front row. They're good for high crit rate. But why rely on crit rate when you can just... Friggin' dual wield something that has better attack power. And then just attack from the front row. Provided you have either the defenses or the evasion necessary to make that happen. We're going to get an Iron Shield for Edgar and Terra. So... Don't really want that. Got that for Locke. Don't really need that. Let's see here. No to evade. He's already got that. No. Get two of those. She's already got a headband. We'll lose some defense, but we get bigger speed. 66 evade, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome on Edward. Can't be denied. We really didn't need that, so we're going to go ahead and sell that extra headband. Or bandana, excuse me. Bam. Bam. 56 evade on Terra and 66 evade on Edgar. 84 on Locke. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty jacked right now. The only thing I might want here is a boomerang. We don't need those. I want a second one, so we're going to... I'm going to fight a few battles so that I can get it. And then we're going to go to items real quick to see if there's anything I want there. 
Maybe I can test out the item cap limit. No, we're good here, I think. So we just need 1,500 uh, GP so that we can go get That item, that boomerang. Yeah, that's a that's a hardy counter compared to back row. I think there's people that complain about the the upholsteriness of the counters. Try front row. Try front row Edgar. I think it's pretty common to stick Edgar in the back row for defense and also for dragoon reasons with a spear. Nice. 94 is not a lot of damage, uh, so Boomerang might have been nice, but then that would hurt the damage of Butterfly. So, is it really worth doing? I'm always looking for, like, new alternative ways to set up party members, especially early on. See what Terra's damage is looking like. Miss. Oh, I don't think we... Okay, we have to rename Shadow because I'm not sure if I did that yet. I'm guessing that goggles and um, bracelet will be coming later. 
to teach the what I like about relics and what the purpose of them those relics being here is to teach the importance of equipping yourself for relics to protect against status ailments of which there are plenty in the upcoming dungeon but I like the alternative take here um, hopefully goggles and head uh, bracelet will have some kind of buff or benefit that make them more worth it because for them to come after Knight's Cape and Dragoon Seal is kind of ridiculous. Hopefully they get better stat bonuses or they, oh shit, have an additional effect. Taking way too long. So he went ahead and named him. I like how even though he's not forced, Shadow is one of the earliest party members in the game. It's crazy. It's also crazy to think you name two party members in a row without actually being able to uh, use or recruit them. And Setzer is a third, but he's not in a row, interestingly enough. How much do we need? Fifteen hundred? We can sell those. I noticed that there were tonics in the, um... The thingy. In the, um, the barrels or the crates instead of, like, eye drops or whatever they normally are. Okay, so with all this, we can go ahead and fight Vargas. Level 6, triple six, 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 I think is fine. It will be a... Not a rough fight, but definitely like a, a mid-diff fight. I don't know if anyone's been getting into like power scaling thingy bobbers. Like mid-diff, high-diff, etc. for like anime characters. They've been all over the place. But I think six 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 is good. Well, we'll have we'll probably level up by the time we get there because I I won't be running from all the encounters. I'll make sure I get. Oh, that's right. I want to fight some scrappers to get um, some slim gems. I'll try not to fight too many. And also get rages set. Nice first try. This is easily the best Slim Jim spot in the game. There's no contest. Don't you dare. Yeah, see, that's a that's a hearty counter. That is... more damage than Terra is dealing. With her attack. It's 
pretty good. We have one. Ideally, I usually grind about five Slim Jims here. Enough to last until Zozo. Because I don't usually use them very much. Very often. 